Bamid the Bar Numbers 22. And the children of Yasharael set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab on this side of the Adan by Riericho. And Balak, the son of Sippor, saw at all that Yasharael had done to the Amorim. And Moab was sore afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Yasharael. And Moab said unto the elders of Midan, rather Midian, Now shall this company lick up at all that are around, that are round about us, as the ox licks up at the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Sippor, was king of the Moavim at that time. And he sent messengers thereof unto Bilam, the son of Beor, to Pithor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Mitzrayim. Behold, they cover at the face of the earth and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray you, curse me at this people, for they are too mighty for me. Perchance I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I know that he at whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand. And they came unto Balaam and spoke unto him the words of Balak. And he said unto them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you word again, as Yahuwah shall speak unto me. And the princes of Moab abode with Balaam. And Elohim came unto Balaam and said, What men are these with you? And Balaam said unto Elohim, Balak, the son of Sippor, king of Moab, has sent me unto you, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of the Mitzrayim, rather out of Mitzrayim, which covers at the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them, Perchance I shall be able to overcome them and drive them out. And Elohim said unto Balaam, You shall not go with them. You shall not curse at the people, for they are blessed. And Balaam rose up in the morning and said unto the princes of Balak, Get you into your land, for Yahuwah refuses to give me leave to go with you. And the princes of Moab rose up, and they went unto Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. And Balak said yet again, rather sent yet again princes, more and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus says Balak, the son of Sippor, Let nothing, I pray you, hinder you from coming unto me. For I will promote you unto very great honor, and I will do whatsoever you say unto me. Come therefore, I pray you, curse me at this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond at the word of Yahuwah Elohai to do less or more.
Now therefore I pray you, tarry ye also here this night, that I may know what Yahuwah will say unto me more. And Elohim came unto Balaam at night, and said unto him, If the men come to call you, rise up and go with them. But yet at the word which I shall say unto you, that shall you do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled at his ass and went with the princes of Moab. And Elohim's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of Yahuwah stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass and his two servants were with him. And the ass saw at the angel of Yahuwah standing in the way and his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass, rather, and the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And Balaam smote at the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of Yahuwah stood in a path of the vineyards, a wall being on this side and a wall on that side. And when the ass saw at the angel of Yahuwah, she thrust herself unto the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. And he smote her yet again. Rather, and he smote her again. And the angel of Yahuwah went further and stood in a narrow place. There was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left. And when the ass saw at the angel of Yahuwah, she fell down under Balaam. And Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote at the ass with a staff. And Yahuwah opened at the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done unto you, that you have smitten me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because you have mocked me, I would there were a sword in my hand, for now would I kill you. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I your ass, upon which you have ridden ever since I was yours unto this day? Was I ever wont to do so unto you? And he said, Nay. Then Yahuwah opened at the eyes of Balaam, and he saw at the angel of Yahuwah standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face. And the king of Yahuwah said unto him, rather, and the angel of Yahuwah said unto him, Wherefore have you smitten at your ass these three times? Behold, I went out to withstand you, because your way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me and turned from me these three times. Unless she had turned from me, surely now also I had slain you, and saved her alive. And Balaam said unto the angel of Yahuwah, I have sinned, for I knew not that you stood in the way against me. Now therefore, if it displease you, I will get me back again. And the angel of, of Yahuwah said unto Balaam, Go with the men, but only at the word that I shall speak unto you. That you shall speak. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak. And when Balak heard at that Balaam was come, he went out to meet him unto a city of Moab, which is in the border of Arnon, which is in the utmost coast. And Balak said unto Balaam, Did I not earnestly send unto you to call you? Wherefore came ye not unto me? Am I not able indeed to promote you to honor? And Balaam said unto Balak, Lo, I am come unto you. Have I now any power at all to say anything? The word that Elohim puts in my mouth, that shall I speak. And Balaam went with Balak, and they came unto Kirat, rather Kiryat. Uh, uh, Kiryat Chuchoth. And Balak offered oxen and sheep and sent to Balaam and to the princes that were with him. 
And it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam and brought him up into the high places of Baal, that thence he might see the utmost part of the people.